the guys we know it's this in this castle um, it is a one-way system here and it is time slots as well so we have a walk down now um, the castle itself is shut which I knew um, the gardens are open and the cafe area and that's open as well so we'll have a little walk around there's a castle just in front of you it's like towers the gardens here are lovely anyway so I'm quite looking forward to looking at them again I haven't been here this year yet so. As you can see by the clouds, it's quite a cloudy day. Over there is usually the main entrance. And over there, it's like the cafe area, the ice cream parlour. And then you've got the main entrance to the castle and grounds here. I'm going to go over there and get a coffee quickly. Yep. So guys, got my mocha. And so I just get a cream tea with it, scrumptious. You can see I'm going to have to do a fair bit of walking to get rid of this. It looks delicious. So guys, just coming to the entrance. I'm not going to be talking loud today because there's lots of people here. Um, once you get into the gardens, into the castle gardens, it's a walk anywhere sort of thing. There's no one way away, one way route. That beautiful building. And there's the actual tower here. I'm sure I've done a video on this before. So there's some etchings on one of them windows. Let's walk through that door over there first. Usually when I come here it's in the spring because the flowers look amazing. Let's go through this little entrance here. Oh, it smells great. Very congested. I see, it was just that entrance bit, it's a bit more quiet down here. Yeah? 
we can go back onto this bit here just to have a look that's a bit long there where we just walk past and come back down it's just popping out look at the flowers here Yeah, I didn't bring my gimbal, guys. I, I, I've not used it. I did bring it. It's in my bag. I'm carrying it around with me. The weather, weather's eased off. So I was going to use it. But I um, set it all up. I need to find the battery was dead. I've got a battery pack with me. But it doesn't charge it quick enough to use it at the same time so it's freehand today oh, oh I have got to go back that way so there's some restrictions which way you can go actually that might be to make the grass grow to go so I can get a picture. So we can go down this way. Let's have a look down here, but probably back up because I want to go around the other side. Have you grown two legs? Let's go back this way. I want to come down this way so we can go back up this way. Come down there. Down here it takes us that bit with the things across. Just left natural. Sorry guys, I'm not talking much. There's so many people around. And I don't really know that much about plants and 
I like plants and flowers, they look nice. But I don't know if I'm into Ophiria. The other people just did so. It's sort of a path. Have a look, a little look through here, see what's through here. I've used just that meadow here earlier. So I could have walked down and cut into here. And some people walking through the meadows. Let's go back in this way. Sure, what's down here? Looks like it could be a dead end. Oh, one way. So let's not go that way this way. Let's go through here where we was before. Just because there's some bits that are one way, I don't want to miss anything out. Oh, it smells lovely here. <laughs> lovely looking building. See when it's not oh, blocking my path. When it's not um, on the lockdown thing, you can go into this southern South Cottage place. It's not open at the moment, obviously, because of people going in. We're not allowed down here either. But I remember I've been here before, and they like to keep certain paths open and closed so they can let it grow naturally so what we do is we walk up forget what i said about on the plan earlier we walk up just here into this bit of the garden the other side of here oh, let's move this again This is the other side of the archway. This little pond here. I don't think there's no fishes there.
say because you can see it in Florida. This is back where we started. That used to look. Jeez. Change the plan again, guys, and we'll cut through here. Go up through here and go down to that other area we saw where it said one way. Let's cut through this way. I'm just going to stop every minute, guys, and go to where that bit was because the point is showing you all this again. This is where we changed back earlier. Let's look where we're here. Yeah. There's that south cottage again. Let's walk around this way. Nice people pulled in and let me pass them. This is the herb garden. This adds to the wall here. Yeah. Little duck there on his own.
so they've shut the gate to the lakes and you've got to walk right around which I'm not going to do today so we're going to walk along by the moat go and look at the gazebo in the corner then go up to the boathouse and uh, that would be near enough here I think Sort of canally, yeah, sort of look, doesn't it? There's a gazebo ahead of us. Nice view of the towers there. This is the orchard area, I think. It's fruit trees. and the apples like a little doves thing there there's a boathouse just over there in the distance and a gazebo here see all this land around it's Sissonhurst it's a massive area. It's still actually a working farm. Mm. It's just saying what we read about now. The um, Nicholson family still actually live in part of the main tower got a little bit of information here actually let's have a look what it says just the garden history first created in the 1930s by Vita Sackville West and Harold Nicholson the garden is now looked after by a team of gardeners and many volunteers uh, known as known to Vita and Harold as the big room, the library was converted by them from the farm stables. It says within the garden the several buildings date from the Tudor period. South Cottage and the south side of the house are still occupied by the Nicholson family. The priest house to the north of the garden is available to hire. You see that is not on your way in the priest house. Oh no, the priest house is over there. It's the, as you come in the entrance, it's the actual Sissonhurst farmhouse. There's like a bed and breakfast. The priest house is over here and you can hire the whole building. So here's a boathouse. Don't know how old the boathouse is. Some fruit on the trees. Boathouse there. This area here, which they look like they're growing now. I've actually got I've actually got pictures from last year. With my kids sitting here and it was not nothing like this it used to be just a cut lawn you could sit on it so this is a no they've planted that there you can't get across that way Close as well. And this is where I sat last time I come here. I sat just there, and little Robin kept jumping up and down there. Lovely view from here. I 
ton of people watching video from here I'm sure but there was a little robin running along here so there's not much more left to do now guys so we go back round that way out through the priest house by the priest house and that's about it I think This is a priest house here, I think. This is all different from when I last come. There's nothing like this before. Thank you. This bit is completely different to when I last come here. It's nice. So as I said, that's a priest's house over there. That's a private, private area. The host house is over there, and the granary restaurant, and the old barn now. We'll have a look in the barn quickly. See the towers to the top there. You also up there, but not big up there. There's not much up there. You can go all around the estate here. There's a the restaurant. The bird hides back down that way over there. I showed you as well. Around this whole building. Can go up this bit. There's a restaurant in there. So it's read about that on the barn about it. It used to be a hospital for the prisoners. Oh, you can sort of go up here. Obviously that's a bit too dangerous to let people walk on. And you can see the old all the old workings there. Some other bits here as well. So, guys, that's about it.
I'm gonna walk down and have a look and give you a shot. about it guys. This is the the meadows and that. There's the sheep. That was it guys. It's just in this castle. Although we didn't get to see the castle. Just up by the uh, where the car park is, so I'm about to leave. Try to make me feel my best is love 